Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel Okay, you know we're gonna be missing We're gonna be missing tonight, it's Friday night, just got paid Hey, that whole dealio But girl, Portia you said that honey Did you marry Cordell for convenience girl? Did you marry Cordell for convenience? Now you know it's been over 20 plus years since he's been in the NFL game. And there were rumors that he was found at a park doing some lewd acts with another man. And they're saying, this is that man, okay, that he was doing lewd acts with. Um, Portia, what's the story, baby girl? What is the tea? You held out on us. Who was Cordell allegedly screwing or getting head? Both of them were doing each other in the parking lot. Well, a police officer had to come up and stop them from doing it, girl. Tell us the tea. Because in your book, The Pursuit of Portia, you had wrote. Um that in chapter eight that cordell's career had really come to an abrupt stop because all of these rumors girl was swirling around him look at all these rumors surrounding me every day i just need some time some time to get away from Look on these rumors. I can't take it no more. Yeah, girl, rumors on Cordell Stewart being bisexual, allegedly. Okay. Girl, were you being an opportunist? Was he hiring you just for show? Because Kenya, on one of the episodes, when you were calling yourself married to Cordell, she called you a beard, honey. And for what I understand, a beard is... A person marries another person or be in a relationship with a person when they know their sexual activity is with the same sex. I learned that today, y'all. I didn't understand what was going on. But I was looking at a YouTuber. And he was doing a, a breakdown on some things. His name is uh, a YouTube station. is Sean David Ways. Okay. He the one that do that swoosh. Swoosh. Hair flip. Very comical guy. Very comical guy. But it's Sean Davy Ways. If y'all Google him up, he did a video about undercover bisexual men. And he was covering um, Barack Obama. And you have to go see who he was talking about. Because y'all wouldn't believe me. Uh, unless you... What was the name of that show on Netflix? It was... I think it was called Designated Survivor or Designated. I don't forgot what it was called. I might update y'all later once I figure it out. But I remember seeing this um, guy. He's a comedian. He's been on other, other shows. Um, but he was pinned to be uh, allegedly going with Barack Obama. Child. And he had, uh, what's her name? Jackie. You remember she married that hairdresser who just, you you could just tell his whole demeanor. No, right off the bat that he was gay or bisexual because he was married to Jack A. So, uh, Jack A. Harris, I think her name is. Um, the one that played in 227 and the twins, um, uh, shoot, I forgot, T T Tamara and Tia Myrie. Y'all remember that show. But anyway. Honey, a beard is that from what they say. It's when they marry somebody. When they know that they're gay. But they keep up a, a facade. Uh, they keep up a identity that they are a straight couple. But in actuality, they're not. So, for 20 plus years, rumors have been swirling around Cordell Stewart. Yes, we in Mississippi, okay? That he was a down low brother. And he pretty much wanted to be with guys. Instead of females. And Portia even hinted. After she got her divorce. And she was trying to drop little T. 
and tidbits here and there that you know she will be all primed and proper laced up looking bootylicious and everything and she just saying he wasn't into her and she thought it was her mm -hmm. then we have this youtuber uh named what's the thing andre caldwell you can look him up andre caldwell youtuber and he was supposedly had went out and said that he was messing with cordell stewart that they were dating but then you know um cordell stewart put a lawsuit on him and he uh, uh went on and said that he was lying he uh has made up the whole story but it gives you wonder it gives you an interest to pause and think about that situation i mean no he wasn't the nicest looking man um that you would think cordell would be associated with but in my mind i always saw cordell messing with somebody white even marrying a white woman if he had to but i think Portia, and it's just my opinion now, it ain't solid gold, it ain't the holy grail, and it ain't, you know, saying it's true, but I ain't saying it ain't true either, it's just my opinion, he just liked the white people, he wanted to date white, and he was bisexual, and he really, to me, wanted, from reading all the documentaries, well, not the, document, the documentary, documentaries that people had put out on him, uh, and even going to the team where the team was talking amongst themselves about, you know, Cordell Ben Stewart. You know, it's have always been in the sports arena uh, area environment anyway. That you had a lot of gay people or gay men in football. Because they always like to touch each other's ass and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, it just is what it is. But that is a room out there that most athletic men, especially in the football area and baseball, they tend to really go that way. Okay? But they will attempt to have a heterosexual sexual relationship. But they'll be on the down low. See what I'm saying? Now, I got an article from Radar Online about this issue. And it happened some way, you know. It's been in the past. Because like I said, this shit ain't just all happening. And for him to be married for less than two years with Portia. Portia knew what was going on. And I believe Portia just married him because they had a contractual obligation that she would help him, you know, tame some of the rumors that still are circulating this day that he's gay, you know. So you have to put up that facade. Portia was a willing participant, allegedly. She went on through it. So uh, all that negative press about him being gay and being caught in the parking lot had a paw doing lewd acts, receiving and giving, you know, with the same sex person as himself, uh, could die down. Because he even went so far where the coach had to bring him in and just wanted to see, you know, not necessarily ask him what really happened, but, you know, of course, Cordell was going to deny, deny, deny. And what better way to squash all the rumors than marry somebody pretty um, and just basically try to live life after that. But that's what we heard about Cordell Stewart. He liked them men and he liked the Caucasian persuasion. Allegedly. Okay. Now, I went a little further. I went a little deep. I said, okay, well, let me see about that book Portia wrote. What did she say about that? So, in chapter 8 people she said i have always wanted to speak life into cordell it was especially important for me as his partner because when we first met he almost looked like a broken winged bird to me he was a recluse a total introvert cordell felt his career as a quarterback with the Pittsburgh steelers was stolen by rumors of him being a closeted gay man which i didn't believe were true but they refused to go away unfortunately with the culture of the nfl being what it is was at the time he felt these rumors led to an early end to his career it was truly a heartbreaking story because cordell felt robbed of his favorite thing in the world and his life purpose he felt like these rumors ruined his entire career Okay, so in the book, she mentions it as well. So,
So, anybody got a half of a brain and common sense, it would have behooved her to have checked on these rumors. Okay, because people like to talk, trust and believe, even if you got to pay for the info. Girl, you could have hired a private detective and said, I want you to research this man from his football career all the way up to where we are now. You see what I'm saying? And we would have just been dating him, dating him, and the investigation would have been going on. And, you know, uh, people might have been brought in for me to interview and, and sit down, you know. Uh, you know, of course, secluded, you know what I'm saying. Like, download stuff when you investigate stuff. You know, you got to meet in other areas where people won't get, you know, the idea that you're seeking to do something to that person with the information you're gathering on them. You know, that's what we would have been doing. I would have my own private eye on his behind. Because if you're that way, you're going to partake of that piece of meat sometime in a relationship. And when they got married... Right after she got married and he was telling her to go get some belongings because they was at a hotel stand. But before they were going on their trip, their honeymoon, he told her to go get some stuff from her house. And he going to go get some stuff from his house. And they going to meet back to go, you know, go wherever to take their honeymoon or whatnot. And she said she fell out the floor. She was having an a, a anxiety attack because she don't even know that she made the right decision. I'm like, baby girl, baby girl. Evidently, you married for convenience. You knew he was bisexual. And you knew the cards that had been dealt to you. He pretty much had said he was going to take care of you. He was going to live in a lap of luxury. And since he was bi, allegedly, bisexual, that means he would be attracted to you sometime. I guess envisioning a man with your face and he doing it to you. Because it seems like. He likes it gay. He likes the same sex man. But to keep up the facade. And to get him a little tail here and there. Until he can see the real person he really wanted to be with. Which is his same sex person. Or same gender person. He used you as an option. Okay. Or an alternative. Now Portia girl. Did you know. Did you know why you were dating this man. You said you knew about the rumors. Because the rumors were circulating throughout his whole career. And damn near ended his career. Because then nobody wanted to really play that game. Being associated with somebody who was gay. You know what I'm saying? Okay girl. Well let's get on into what Radar Online had said about this. Because it's still circulating to this day. And it's 20 plus years old. Alright. But uh, you know me. I didn't even know that he was considered to be a closeted gay person. Okay. And so the stuff came out when you were on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Then um, Andre Caldwell, a guy who calls himself delivered from being uh, gay. Uh, he was delivered from the Lord, but he still has all these tendencies. He still has all these attributes of being a gay man. But he says he's been delivered. And he also said he slept with Cordell, which, like I said, there was a big lawsuit. And defamation of character and, and just him coming out saying that they had a relationship was totally false. And he was, you know, putting his money where his mouth led. I guess he knew he wasn't messing with him. And if somebody else had came out that they that he knew he had messed with, it wouldn't have been a lawsuit. <laughs> it wouldn't have been a net. It probably would have been a, a hush, hush, under the table, pay off type thing. And that's what I think he really did with Portia. Portia knew his secret. She was uh, going to be a willing participant to be his wife in public and show that united front. And then whatever he do behind closed doors is his business. Because she sure wasn't getting served up the majority of the time when she wanted to get served up. I'm just saying. But anyway, going to the article. It, um, it was written by um, a journalist. Working for Radar Online. And they titled the article. It was exclusive at the time. Cordell Stewart amidst rumors of steamy tryst with transvestite destroyed his career. Okay. Listen up Portia Williams. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star ex-husband Cordell Stewart has been 
as has been trailed by gay rumors for nearly 20 years. And now in his new memoir, Truth, the former Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback is finally coming clean about his past sex life. Okay? He wrote a book. I ain't finna try to buy it because I don't want to hear the lies that he's telling in there. But anyway, going back to the article, it said a family friend called him late one night in 1998. Uh, 98, this is when the alleged stuff was going around uh, about him being gay. Uh, he claims in the tell-all while he was watching the Thomas Crown Affair at home, a Pittsburgh st uh, cop had supposedly arrested him in uh, Shenley Park for performing lewd acts with a transvestite. Stewart, now 44, writes, the rumor was so absurd it was almost funny. I dismissed it as barbershop talk. I have never been arrested or even pulled over by a cop for something as harmless as a speeding ticket in the city of Pittsburgh. Now, just a sidebar. Hey, that cop could have been an off-duty cop that caught you all. Or maybe he was starstruck or whatever and he just wanted to give you a pass. Because some things cops see, they act like they don't see. Because they don't want the paperwork on it. Or they don't want to have this person being embarrassed. Because they may be a political figure or a celebrity. And he probably took a bribe. So that's not unexpected. That's not unheard of, Cordell. We know people can be paid off. And as messy as it was, I believe you paid them off. Allegedly. But that's my opinion. But that's what I believe happened. That's why it was no record. That's why it was no arrest. Okay, it was just like, don't come to this part no more because this is much, uh, it's my beat or uh, beat that I walk and I try to protect people in. Please do not come back here because then I'm gonna have to do my due, due, my due diligence and my duty is to bring you in because things like this should not be happening. All right, you have hotels, you have your own house or home, you know, you have options, but you can't do this kind of stuff. This is high school stuff. Okay, this is high school stuff. We grown. And you take that stuff uh, and your mate and, and go somewhere else privately. And that's what he, off the record, that's probably what he said. But anyway, um, it's uh, going back to the article. It says, though he figured the rumor would die down, whispers spread around town. His team, the league, and the public. Okay, he was getting scrutinized by everybody. Probably some bloggers too. You know, if, if YouTube was out back then, I'm not even sure YouTube was running then. But anyway, Stewart says he was forced to address his fellow players to shut down any misconceptions. Y'all know me. Nothing happened last night, and I wasn't arrested, he says. He insisted to his teammates. All I did was watch a movie. Watch a movie in the pub, brother. Watch a movie in the pub. I don't think so. Going back to the article, it says, the, but the rumors about his sexuality continue. It came out that I supposedly went to jail. It came out that I was seen in four or five different pubs. It came out that I had paid my way out of the situation, he recalls. The year before, I had all the respect a man could ask for. In 1998, however, it felt like there was a dark cloud of negative energy hovering over my head and all hovering over my head all the time the nfl alarm credits god and the bible with leading him through the painful period i was definite i wasn't defined by what people said about me i was defined what god said about me he explains when stewart resurfaced in the spotlight with his then wife williams on reality tv in 2012 the gay rumors began to swirl once again Okay, and I do remember after said relationship was coming to a demise, falling apart, e you know, eradicating itself. Child, she even brought up and hinted around that Cordell when she was looking extra special for him on certain nights. He wouldn't even find her attractive, wouldn't even try to uh, attempt to bite the the forbidden fruit on her. You know what I'm saying? He just wasn't interested. Well, maybe because it wasn't, you wasn't his type. You wasn't his gender. Okay, baby girl. Then somebody told me that um, a tape was leaked of Cordell's buttocks. That he was showing 
on uh instagram and he tried to make like portia had put it out on him which she denies doing so but i think she had the video that was showing him spreading his cheeks his book cheeks wide open and from what i hear people say that's just like a play that you put you know these videos of yourself and you're doing that book but she action opening up just to show a person that's interested in busting you out meaning the same sex you know so those like sexy videos like i guess you would send a man of your vagina or whatnot and he would get kicked off on it and you know whatever but going back to the article it says after their nasty divorce williams 35 claimed her ex-husband was never sexually attracted to her on a 2013 episode of the real housewives of atlanta so again we have to go back portia when you knew you were married this man did you know that he was bisexual girl that he liked the men more than he liked women because i'm telling you the streets are still talking girl and they also saying that you basically was getting money from him hush money okay hush money after y'all got divorced because you said you didn't have anything you had to go back to your mama and leave your money so rumor has it the streets are talking and all this is allegedly okay and opinionated by me giving my my opinion for me looking in on the outside you were blackmailing that brother because you were gonna tell the world i mean you already had hinted by you saying oh he didn't want me uh your exact words he was never sexually attracted to her okay so i'm like if he wasn't attracted to you y'all wasn't getting it in in the sheets prior to y'all getting married girl uh why did you marry him why did you set yourself up for failure okay because if that's the way he was he'd been that way for a long time and i don't think your pretty little self was going to change it because that's not what he wanted so it behooves me to think possible you were just his front lady just to keep that uh what do you call it pretense of or that optics of what he wanted to be shown to the public but was not necessarily his demeanor behind closed doors so girl were you playing the actress when you were playing his so-called dutiful housewife and mother to his child portia 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 come clean girl come clean shame tell the truth and shame the devil tell the truth and shame the devil because we are being messy about this situation girl but anyway going back to the article it said um i would put on my lingerie i worked out i kept my body up and i felt like hey what's going on she fumed then last year viral video star andre caldwell alleged that he dated stewart while the star was married to williams girl you know your husband was gay he said it in a radio interview meaning andre caldwell caldwell let it confess that he never dated stewart and made the story up now see <laughs> well, i don't know i'm gay Boy, should do some strange things for change but i never would have depicted her to get married just to have her then husband be able to be in camouflage mode meaning if he was showing this part of his life and it was a heterosexual type relationship and family blending and bonding then people would forget about the years prior to him getting married that he liked it men and he often you know got caught in certain parks doing lewd acts receiving as well as giving to the same sex now where there's smoke there's gonna be fire and if this um saying or this uh thought has been traveling for 20 some plus years and here we are in the future and it's still or present i should say it's still going on then baby <laughs> you would do anything for that dollar portion you would do anything for that dollar sacrificing yourself to be with a man who truly loved you if one came around uh and you weren't so greedy because in your book you talk about so many men you don't went through had thinking they were the right one 
when actually you were being a gold digger, a hoe out there, and not really praying for discernment for the Lord to bring you one. Okay, you was out there filling your own needs up and trying to make a man be what you wanted him to be. And hopefully you could turn him into husband material. And I was claiming that, who the Lord bought this man to me? This is the Lord bought this. No, honey, Satan bought that man to you. You and Satan were looking. Because just like you sitting up there telling everybody you want to be married and you have these requirements and this, that, and that. You don't think Satan listening to? But you said you had discernment, baby. But ba basically, you were trying to hook up your own self, which turned out to be a hot mess. And you've been on a hot mess express train since then. Since your your uh, uh, marriage to Cordell and your divorce, you've still been a hot mess. And we ain't been able to tame you since. Shy. Yes, we are being messy, Florida. Yes, we are, girl. Because we just don't understand the things that Miss Portia be doing out here. Doing and saying and printing in ink. Publishing a book. Making herself look stupider as we go along. Because I'm like, I saw the video. I heard the video. Because it even had Funky Dineva in there somehow wrapped in that entanglement of a debacklement of a story. Um, that he was a privy of that somebody saw or sent him a tape of Cordell actually doing lewd acts. And he didn't want to report on it. So, like I said, if you want to uh, get full detail and you're willing to listen to everything, because it is pretty long. But if y'all listen to me from the beginning to the end, y'all should y'all going to definitely love him. But it's Sean Davey Way's uh, YouTube channel. So... I'm telling you, uh, from listening to what he was saying and understanding how he was trying to break it down, there was some logic behind that. Instead of him basically coming out, telling everybody he gay, living his truth, you know, he wants to play closet person, allegedly. And he used Portia to help him solidify that deal, at least for two years. Because again, he's not married. I don't know if he's in a relationship. Um, and, um, he's mostly known through Portia, because he's trying to blame Portia for everything now. But I'm like, no, brother. The gay room has been swirling around about you before you and Portia hooked up. You just used her as a smoke screen to let the rumors die down some that you actually were participating in lewd acts. Who said that? The street said that, Portia. And you knew it, too, when you married the brother. Because you said up there saying he wasn't attracted to you. Now, if he's not attracted to your pretty self, yo, you know, you got a fine body. You look nice, very nice. And um, he don't want you? Girl, mm-mm. Child, please. You know what was up. And the fact that he like Caucasian men, buff men. Yes. But he couldn't die down. So, I'm like, embrace it, brother. Embrace it. Because if that was you, that's, that's you. The Lord know. You know. So don't lie about it. Just come on out. Be what be. Let it do what it do. But um, that's all I had for this video, y'all. I was trying to figure out, damn, Portia. You just keep getting, you know, I keep trying to not bring you out. But you just keep flying on my radar. And I'm trying to figure out. Would you pay for higher, Portia? Would you pay for higher? Because that makes you be uh, a prostitute, wouldn't it? A whore. Okay. A whore for the dollar. You started out young doing it. But then again, like you said in your book, you ran up the Pied Piper, R. Kelly. You wanted to see what it do when it did that. And you did everything on the sun. Except everything godly, which was to go up there, get your singing career together, him mentor you. That's it. It wasn't supposed to be no booty call here and there for, for weeks and months. No. And if you had an inkling idea that brother Cordell was not straight, you shouldn't have entered in no type of matrimony with him. Because all of it was a sham. Smoking mirrors. Trying to deflect who he really is by using you. Okay? As his sounding board. As his vision board. And painting the correct aesthetics he wanted everybody to see. Op optically. 
Okay. But that's all I got. Portia's a hot mess. She'll do anything for the change, boy, for the dollar dollar bill. And I just keep on reporting on her. Because I want her to be better, do better. Damn, she's 40 years old. I did at the Super Bowl. Lonely. You could tell she was lonely. Her body language was just giving it to us. Lonely. Yes, Simon just, just, just didn't feel good that day. <laughs> Have no idea what was going on there. But I'm sure it's going to wash itself out. And we're going to hear about it through Portia's mouth. Because it's going to come out. And she's going to want us to accept her back in the fold. But we're going to be looking at her like we're looking at Nene. And how Cordell's looking at Portia, probably. Are you crazy? <laughs> but that's all I got for this video, guys. Uh, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. What you waiting on? We talk over here. We key key. We get down. All right? That's what we do. Back on Friday nights when we ain't got nothing else to do. But I'll see y'all next video. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.